Their supply lines for food and raw materials are crippled. The Suez Canal is a lifeline, connecting Britain with its empire and Middle Eastern oil, making the war in North Africa crucial. As the British and Axis armies face each other across the Libyan-Egypt border, the front line swings like a pendulum across the western desert, a harsh, unforgiving strip of land between the Mediterranean and the Sahara. Mechanized warfare has come of age. Here, tanks are king. I've arrived in Tobruk, off a boat filled with replacements and reinforcements. Young men blindly rushing to their deaths. None of them are comfortable having someone like me around. Suits me fine. Most of them won't make it out of here alive. Rommel was kicked out during Operation Crusader. But Axis forces are once again sweeping across the western desert. The Gazala Gallop began with the Allied retreat, and Rommel is at the city's throat. There is no time for tactics. 35,000 of us have one order. Hold to Brook. Alright, well, what is up everybody? It's Control Delicious, and welcome to my playthrough of Sniper Elite 3. Sorry I didn't start talking until now, I just didn't want to talk over the first cutscene there. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this playthrough. Um, this is my first time playing it, obviously, since it just came out, literally. Um, I don't think anyone's had time to finish it yet, but, uh... Yeah, I'm really excited. A lot of people have been sort of um, saying it's going to be kind of like Enemy Front, which came out a couple weeks ago. I did play Enemy Front, and I, I enjoyed it, but I think that these two games are actually going to be kind of different. So I'm excited to see what they do, t or what the company did to sort of add to the series, because I did play the other two sniper games. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> Looks like there's another cutscene, so... Stop talking. Alright, cool. So, we get to move around. Obviously, the first difference I see between this and Enemy Front is that this is in third person. Um, I think that the reason this is compared, or at least what I've heard, has been compared so much to Enemy Front. Let me read this real quick. Blow a wind, a gray diamond in a case. Alright, got it. Uh, because they're both set in World War II, but you know, enemy front, these are both sort of providing, ooh, cinematic for her. Oh, oh god. Oh. Oh god. Beautiful. But uh, these are both sort of providing different, another one, jeez. Hold on, let me just finish my sentence. They're both sort of providing new perspectives that we haven't seen, <laughs> Jesus Christ, throughout, uh, all the different World War II games, you know, Enemy Front was from uh, sort of the Polish perspective, the Resistance, which there hasn't been much attention towards, and this is from Africa's perspective. And so it's kind of different. Obviously, we are an American in Africa, but it's still, you know, a different situation that we haven't really seen before. So I'm pretty excited for that. See how they present it. I'm hoping that they don't sort of rewrite history and make everyone American, even though this is in Africa. But, um,. I think regardless of how they present the story, it'll be a fun game. I loved Sniper uh, version 2, and Sniper 1 was pretty good. I think 2 was better for me, but uh, yeah, the graphics are so nice though, gotta say. Alright, let me see here. There we go. I like the cinematics. Ooh. Go right in the j oh god! Ha 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 ha! That makes my jaw hurt. Okay, so we got one more. Destroy vehicles by shooting weak spots. 
And some weeks fast may require multiple shots. Got it. So we gotta blow it up by hitting the engine or something like that. It's pretty cool. I think it's it's amazing to me how you know video games uh, have so much precision in so many different aspects. Like ten years ago, this whole thing of it's showing you exactly where the bullet is hitting and that kind of thing that would have been impossible. You know, I mean, I guess it could have been possible, but it's like unheard of. So I think it, it's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Bam! <laughs> Woo! Load it up. All right, let's watch this cutscene here. It's intense, man. I mean, what war is not intense? But, uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. I like it so far. I mean, I've only been playing, like, five seconds of the game, but, uh, the controls seem pretty smooth. I like the, uh, HUD layout. Everything's, uh, pretty nice. Oh, our voice is so deep. Oh, I don't have a deep voice. I. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had a deep voice, but, you know, I'm a girl, so it, it probably put some people off. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of, so there's times when I hear, like, Morgan Freeman talking or whoever, and I'm like, man, why can't I have a voice like that? Anyway, so we got to find a route to go through. Bring me back to uh, Uncharted, jumping these walls. Sort of a similar setting there, also. They won't hear me approach if I crouch. God damn, that voice is deep. That's. I don't think anyone's voice on the world is that deep. All right, got time to kill. <laughs> you telling me that dude over there did not hear that guy going? <laughs> Whatever, it's good for me, so I'm not gonna argue. So we can search the bodies. Looks like we can't really search this guy. All right, let's let's take down this guy. I probably uh, could have just shot him because he's the only one left, but I don't want to waste my my bullets quite yet because I don't know how available they're going to make bullets for us. Can I <laughs> just throw him over the edge? Alright, so where are we going next? Oh, it's quiet. I should use it. Oh, is it? Uh, okay. Uh... Oh, I see. They had the exact same gun in Enemy Front. I'm gonna try to stop comparing those two games, but I mean, they are set in the same time, so it's kinda hard not to compare them. Alright, so we got alert things. Got it. Got it. Pretty, or sort of standard, I guess. Alright, I wonder what the range is gonna be like. Uh, I feel like I should get closer, because I don't want to randomly shoot it and have it hit him like some non-lethal place and then make everyone come after me, so. Oh man, how did they not see me? Got him. Alright, so the range seems pretty good. Uh, let's see. Am I close enough to these guys? I can't even... Is that, I can't tell if I, I don't think he's facing me, but uh, don't really want to risk it. Alright. Is that a grenade? A well rod. <laughs> you don't see me. Wait, why isn't my thing exploding? Did it, did it work? Did it work? Ah, no. Alright, got him. There's only one left, should be pretty easy. I think it gives me more experience for stealth takedowns. So, I'm going to do my best to be stealthy, but uh, I'm not the stealthiest person. You know, I, I like to sort of go in guns blazing, but at the same time, you know, I, I know when it's time to be stealthy and when it's time to sort of rush in and kamikaze it up. So, I'm going to do my best to sort of show off both aspects of that in this game and see how it works. But obviously, since we're, you know, we're snipers, so we're, we're more stealth oriented in general, I would say. But uh, yeah, I'll do my best. I'm playing this on one of the more average difficulties. It's not the easiest. It's like 
as a second or third level. There's four tiers of difficulty in this game, so I don't remember. I just chose whatever was the default difficulty. I just kind of clicked through the intro menu pretty fast, but it was like marksman or something like that. Anyway, it doesn't make much difference. Um, I mean, when there's a let's play, I think it's more showing off the story. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to make it too easy, but <laughs> I know if I make it the hardest difficulty, I'm going to die in like five seconds. How does he not see me? <laughs> Ooh, explosive barrel. I don't know if I should use it or not. So, obviously, alert everybody in this camp. So, I'm going to hold off a bit on that. Let's see if I can. Bam! Yeah, I get a lot of experience for doing those silent takedowns. One of those silent kills with the gun is 20 XP, and that was 35, so... I don't really know if that will make much of a difference in this game, like your experience and your level and whatnot. Alright, some loud sounds cover it up. Good. He almost saw me. That was pretty nice. Convenient, I should say. But, uh, what the fuck was I saying before this? Uh... Sorry, I, I have ADHD and it's like really easy for me to lose track of what I was saying. But, um, something about whatever was important. Something about difficulty. Eh, whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, let's keep going. So, where? We got two objectives. Does it matter which one I go to first? I'm just gonna go to whichever is closest. So, uh, I don't know how long this first episode is going to be. Let me know what length you'd like these parts to be in, because I would like to adjust to whatever you guys want to see. This is my first real series that I'm doing on my channel, so, you know, there's obviously a lot of room for changing up the format that I'm going to do it in. Um, but I think just for the sake of being able to get parts up and having them upload, you know, in a reasonable amount of time, 15 minutes is pretty good for the rest of the parts but for this one I don't really care if it takes an hour or what I just want to show the first mission um, and I think starting a let's play with a good you know long episode is, is nice so I'm gonna do that but yeah if you want to see longer parts let me know just know that it'll take longer to upload and they might be a little less frequent but I don't know if this is even going to reach because my reticle turn isn't red. Should I try it? Should I? No. Uh. Oh, it worked. Oh, but it didn't take him out in the first shot, though. How does he not see me? Like, he just got shot in the face. Did he n He's still not detecting me. Alright, so it obviously can't reach all the way. Oh, I can... Wait, what? It told me that the thing would turn gray. Alright, I don't know if I uh, understand that correctly. Anyway, I'll figure it out. So, I don't know if they all automatically know where I am or not, but they probably got a hunch at this point, so I'm gonna do my best. There we go. I kind of want whatever uh, machine gun they've got there. Let's see. I don't know if they're gonna be like uh, collectibles in this game or that kind of thing. But, you know, I, this isn't going to be a 100% playthrough if there are certain things that, you know, I'm not going to try to get every single achievement and that kind of thing. But, uh, I will do my best, you know, if I come across a collectible, I'm going to be like, oh, it's not 100%, I'm not going to take it, you know, but, uh, no, no promises. Oh. Could have told me to relocate. Wait, what is that? Is that like a, a ghost time? <laughs> Not sure what uh, what what that is. Um, could tell me to relocate a little bit faster. My relocation has been successful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm trying to have a deep voice. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Can I get there? Okay. Oh, okay. I like how uh, you can look through your binoculars and it'll mark off the targets there. That's nice for people who are really far away and you can't really see them. Mm, 
the second it'll work. <sighs> uh oh. Is he gonna turn around? I don't know. He is. No. Alright, wait, no he's not. Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So that's another secondary objective. So if I get four more stealth kills, I can get that. That looks that's shiny. It's obviously some an unseen by the enemy. Alright, I'm not gonna leave these up for a super long time, but um if you like, pause the video and read it. We got a spot, blah blah blah. Alright, yeah. I'm not gonna slow down the playthrough by reading the whole thing. But uh, like I said, if you want to read it, just pause it and go through it. To be honest, I'm not super worried about the story in this. I'm more in it for the action of it. But uh, yeah, I know that a lot of people are interested in the story. So All right, let's get it. we got that guy. It looks like there's some more people down there. He's the closest to me. I don't know if I should. Can I mark off those? Guys? Yeah, I can. All right. So, how the heck does he not- Worst guard ever! <laughs> I mean, we do kind of blend, but come on now. And there's that guy. I really want to get that uh, 8 stealth takedown objective. Does that count me taking out- Ah, uh, bleh, I can't talk. Does that count me taking them out with this gun, or? We only need three more. Please don't turn around, please. For the love of That's Jesus. Funny. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know, whenever I'm in the game and I try to be stealthy and like someone sees me, I always go shh, 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 shh and I try to shush them like this. It's gonna make any difference. Alright. We only need two more. Let's search him. Weapon part. That's cool, so I can make my own weapons. Please dynamite. Oh, well that's conveniently located. Um, oh no, you don't see me. It's okay. It's okay. Shh, 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 shh. See, I just did it again. I don't even do it consciously. It's kind of weird. You ever do that? Like you, you're, you're, you're doing something that, you know, your attention's on something and then you do something unconsciously and you just like step outside of yourself for a second and you realize how ridiculous it is. Oh my god. What? He did not see me. Nah, you didn't see me, bro. You didn't see me. Wait, where is he? I thought he was right here. I don't even know where he is. Oh, he's farther back. That's okay, wait, he was looking this way the whole time and he didn't freaking see me walk all the way over here? You crazy. <laughs> the dumbest AI. Oh man, you're gonna get demoted. Even though you didn't live, but I mean, if you were to live, you would you would get demoted. <laughs> All right, where's how many guys are there left? There's one there, two there. Is that it? If so, I can get that guy with the stealth takedown, and then get the other guy just with my gun. Ooh, bam! What do I get for? the optional objective. I'm gonna take this guy out anyway. Let the stealth take down. Oof, cuts him down. Nebel oh. is neutralized. <laughs> I might as well check the ridge. Kind of a short cutscene. I'm not sure why uh why it gave me the dynamite then. If I it was it just like an optional thing for me to use or am I gonna need it later? I'm not sure. Uh, alright. I really like the graphics in this game. I mean, a lot of times in sort of a sandy desert-like thing, it's hard to make the graphics interesting because it's all like one color, but I actually really like it. Oh man, alright, well I, I guess that's the end of this first mission, or I guess you call it the introduction. But uh, yeah, it's actually a little shorter than I expected, only looks like 18 minutes or so. But anyway, like I said, the first mission is when I'll end off the first episode, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. 
leave me some feedback, leave a like, be sure to subscribe to see more, much love, and I'll see you in the next part.